Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Bonnie Osan. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. Let's go to Aiden to see what's happening for our Black History Spotlight. Thank you, Vani. Today we spotlight the celebration of Black History Month, which began as Negro History Week. It was created by Carter G. Woodson, a noted African-American historian, scholar, educator, and publisher. It became a month-long celebration in 1976. The, Fe the month of February was chosen to coincide with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. I leave you with this quote from Frederick Douglass. Once you learn to read, you will be forever free. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Aiden. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. 43-year-old gymnast Oksana joseph Biden, whose age is just a number. While elite athletes like Simone Biles and Michaela Maroney make it look easy, Gymnastics is one of the hardest sports on the planet, both physically and mentally. It is therefore not surprising to hear that most gymnasts retire in their late teens or early 20s. But don't tell that to Oksana Joseph Vidana. On August 23, 2018, Joseph Vidana made headlines again, this time for winning the silver medal in the vault at the 2018 Asian Games held in Indonesia from August 18 to September, September 2nd. What's even more impressive is that the gymnast who shared the podium with one woman younger than her 19-year-old son, Alice Purpinoff, missed the goal by one-tenth of a point. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is general salt chicken, broccoli, diced pears, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Lonnie. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, let's take a moment to celebrate and congratulate January Already Math Challenge winners. The February I Ready Challenge is going on now. This time, the challenge will be focused on reading only. Pass 30 reading lessons, I Ready lessons between February 1st and February 26th to be a part of a spectacular sub-party. Start today to get the, all 30 lessons in. Patriots, tomorrow we will continue celebrating Black history. Jump into action by recreating your favorite scene from Martin or Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Have fun record and share with us to be considered for airing on RPTV. Be sure to tune in every day to find out what fun activity or dress down will be going on during the month of February. Three, two, one, action! Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 65 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. A nice day to take a picnic break. Now let's go to Sam for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Why can't you ever trust Pokemon when you're playing a game of hide and seek? Because they will Pikachu. Now let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Samuel. That was hilarious. And now let's check in with Sonia for today's birthdays. Thank you, Bonnie. Today's birthday boys we got are Alyssa Hyacin, Sebastian Rugo, Victoria Lopez, and Zachary Samuelson. Happy birthday! Let's get back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations, which represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, 
treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Gilbert, Miss Stone, Miss Santiago, Miss Mraz, Miss Dry, Miss Julian, Miss Ian Dinkwa, and Miss Santi Stevan. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was two fathers and two sons go fishing together in the same boat. They all catch a fish, but the total catch for the day was three fish. How is that possible? The correct answer to the riddle was there were three generations, son, father, and grandfather. The father were both a father and a son. Now for today's riddle, three doctors said that Peter was their brother. Peter said he had no brothers. Who was lying? Again, three doctors said that Peter was their brother. Peter said he had no brothers. Who was lying? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.